Well, it is finally here. The 2024 total solar eclipse will sweep across the U.S. today. Yes, the excitement has been building. We've had the countdown on. The moon shadow will travel from Texas all the way up through Maine. Florida will only be able to spot a partial eclipse from our angle right here on Earth, but that is not stopping excitement for the rare event. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Andrea Line is live for us in St. Pete with what you need to know ahead of the eclipse and how you can watch safely. Absolutely. Good morning, Jameson and Caitlin. We are less than eight hours, eight hours or so from now. Who's counting anyways? We've been for several days, but from Florida, it all begins around 1.40 p.m. this afternoon. But if you think you can just step outside, look up and see it, think again. I was able to talk with the professor one on one over at St. Pete College, and he told me that if you're not in the track of the total eclipse, you may not even realize it's happening. And for us, the temperature, it's not going to drop. It may not even seem cloudy outside. So if you look up, which we don't recommend without a solar eclipse viewer, you wouldn't even be able to see it with your naked eye. So this is what you should use instead. It's a pinhole viewer uh, like this one. It's a box. All he did was poke a hole in a box. Or if you have a telescope of any kind, it doesn't have to be expensive. You can reflect the sun onto the surface like this one. Uh, if you can see that white dot there, that white area is actually the sun. Uh, this eclipse is a little bit better for two reasons. Uh, one is the moon is going to be closer to the Earth for this eclipse, and so the shadow will cover a larger area, and the duration of the eclipse will be longer. If you're on the track, your area will plunge into complete darkness for almost four minutes. And the astronomy professor, Dr. Joseph, uh, or Dr. Craig Joseph, adds this one will be more interesting too because the sun is at its solar maximum. So if you're using the correct kind of solar viewers, you'll be able to see sun flares or streamers coming from the outer edges. But here's a warning for you. Watch this video right here. This is what could happen to your eyes if you look at the sun with a telescope during this event. If it can start a box on fire in a matter of seconds, just imagine what it could do to your eyes. So instead, like we've been telling you this entire time leading up to the eclipse, you'll want to have some sort of glasses or solar eclipse viewer just like this one. Caitlin. All right, thanks, Andre. Yeah, it's like a laser pointer. You don't want that in your eyes. Now, we like a good time in Florida, right? Even yeah. though we're getting a partial view today, there are watch parties all over the Bay Area. So where can people go for them? Well, I got this one from St. Pete College, and the professor told me they're actually handing out about 900 of these uh, starting around noon today. So if you want to head over there, uh, grab one of these. It's all weather dependent. Otherwise, places like Mosey or several public libraries in our area are also hosting uh, public watch parties. Live in St. Pete, Andrea Lyon, 10 Tampa Bay. All right, thanks, Andrea.